What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay Campbell and I'm making a quick commercial here for seercustom.com, my revolutionary cosmeceutical peptides company, co-founded with my business partner, Nick Andrews, who happens to be one of the world's top formulators. We have the revolutionary Oxano Grow, which completely regrew my hair. If you guys saw my hair about a year ago, I was almost bald. I even had the micropigmentation program from uh, Advantis. And now I've completely regrown my hair. That's just with version one. Version two is now in the marketplace or will be very, very soon. And it is three to five times as more effective than the current version or the original beta version of Oxano. We also have Royal Blue Serum and Sky Blue Cream, which will completely upgrade your face. I mean, I'm almost 50 years old. I have a pretty good complexion. I use it regularly. My wife swears by it. It will reduce fine lines and wrinkles, dramatically improve elasticity, and just the overall look and feel of your face. You feel great on both of them. You can also use them with red light therapy. There's all sorts of great stuff. So go to a seercustom.com. And if you're a first time customer, use the coupon J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I appreciate all you guys. And I send you tremendous love and light. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Jay Campbell, the founder of the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very excited today to be in studio virtually via Zoom with David Weiss. David, what's up, brother? How are you? Hey, Jay, man. Thanks for having me on. Glad to be here. Looking forward to the conversation. So it is going to be a fascinating conversation here today. So guys, um, David is making um, himself famous, if not infamous, uh, across <laughs> the planet right now as a very, very loud, outspoken uh, 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 Yeah. Across the plane. Across the plane. See, he said he was going to call me out. So thank you for doing that. Um, across this plane or this earth ex- uh, experience. Uh, Realm, by being, whatever it is. Yeah, by being a very loud and outspoken uh, proponent of whatever you want to call the flat earth. Um, you know, again, the plane, the, the firmament, whatever this is, whatever this experience on this not spinning globe. Right. Um, so obviously I, I brought him on the podcast here today to talk about, you know, his thoughts. Uh, we're also going to talk about, you know, the two world split right now between the dissonant and the resonant. Um, let me just, you know, ask you first, as I always do on the J Campbell podcast, before we jump into the nuts and bolts is like, you know, tell us your background story a little bit. Like what made you walk away from a lucrative, you know, business and professional life to talk about this? You know, I was working for a, a corporation and uh, every day in the lunchroom, my buddy Tim and I, we'd be talking, you know, about the Federal Reserve and explaining to people what it really was <laughs> and what money was. And every day more and more people would crowd around and, and uh, it turned into a whole thing. And then one day, we got invited to have a podcast out of stand-up labs in New York city at a stand-up comedy club. Nice. And um, we did a podcast called deep inside the rabbit hole. We went into all the conspiracies and uh, we were exposing, you know, everything, all the big ones. And then, uh, and then people started sending me flat earth stuff and I wouldn't watch a one minute video. I'd ban everyone that mentioned flat earth <laughs> from our social media. All right. Because they're idiots. And then one day speaking with Sophia Smallstorm. She, uh, we were talking about the deceptions in the world. I was just, I was like blown away. I'm like, there's so much, everything's a lie. And she goes, oh, David, it's worse than that. I think the earth might be flat. And I blew a lid. I, and she's like, here, watch these videos. And she sent me a couple of videos and uh, I watched them reluctantly. And I said, that's it. I'm going to prove the globe. I'm not going to disprove flat earth. I'm going to prove the globe. And for two Enjoy. weeks, 24 seven, you know, I came out the other end going, holy crap. Um, but I still didn't want to bring it up on the show because it would discredit all the other good work I did. Yeah. Um, right. But then finally I was like, I got to bring this up. The podcast came to an abrupt end pretty quickly because my other co-host couldn't handle it. And uh, what do you mean he couldn't and- handle it? He couldn't handle the idea that you were going back on what you had said before. No, the, the, the fact that I, that I'm saying the earth was flat. <laughs> right. But, 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 but basically um, he was disagreeing with what you originally had said where, you know, no, it's not, it's, it's a spinning globe. 
Correct. I never, ever, we never had talked about it being a spinning oh. globe because we all assume it's a spinning globe. We were trained yeah. that way before we could talk. Exactly. We have mobiles over our head. Well, you know, we were watching Sesame Street with astronauts and, right. and the yip yaps talking about the moon and the earth and right. everything is globe programming. So, so you know, flash forward, um, I, 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 um, I started my own, my own company. Uh, I had tons of time. I was doing podcasts and stuff. And then uh, at the beginning of this year, you know, COVID year, we'll call it, I, I decided to walk away from everything and do this full time. And here I am. I'm on your show. I'm talking to people all over the place. And, you know, people, people basically, once you go through the nuts and bolts, they're like, well, I have a hundred reasons that the earth is a ball. And when you, when you knock them down, one, when I knock them down one after another, they throw their hands up and go, what does it matter? What's right. the shape of the earth? What, what does it matter? You know, I still have to go to work tomorrow. And that's what I said also. But then, uh, then you find out why it matters. Right, right. So, so, so for my audience and all the folks that, that will watch this, you know, and David knows this, um, as a quantum physics student and very learned, I may add, I told David before the show started that the earth, whatever this is, is exactly what we claim it to be through our words, thoughts, and actions, right? So as people know, I'm Jay Campbell, the Raise Your Vibration guy. So David is on the show because A, he's very educated. B, he's very aware. And C, I always bring people on my show that will stimulate discussion and stimulate all of you to think differently. Because especially right now with the world being where it's at, too many people are on one side of the camp or the other one side of the campfire, one side of the line. And instead, you know, my goal is always to tell people to attempt to opt out, right? Choose sovereignty for yourself. And, you know, obviously for your loved ones and family, but you only control yourself. So David, let's talk about this now. And I can go a million different directions with you. Um, Again, you're very knowledgeable. Why do you think humanity is conditioned to believe the globe? Why? Well, it's, it's a, you know, and for me to say this, uh, you know, just jumping back a little bit, I've researched stuff for, you know, decades now, and I'll, I'll be taking notes, got pages of notes, listening to a podcast, like, this is amazing, amazing. And then they would bring up God or Jesus or Muhammad, or, and I would tear out the pages, unsubscribe and move on because I didn't believe any of that stuff. But then when I tried to prove the, prove the globe and realize we are in not we don't live in an accident we don't live in a random accident we live in the center of creation and then that leads you to there's a creator okay so this place was created for us everything changes everything changes from that point and um the the reason that they are lying about the globe and by the way it's a more recent lie than you think is because it separates you from god or the creator right right it makes you insignificant. You, know, you have to believe that nothing exploded. This is the, what the heliocentric religion is. Nothing exploded, created everything. It created plants, planets and suns, and they went in orbits and lightning struck and created an amoeba, which is impossible. Right. And that amoeba you know, made it and became a fish and it grew legs and it climbed out of the water, found another mutant fish. Right. And they had sex and it had a monkey and the monkey had a retarded baby and it was a human. Okay. So you have to believe all of that. That's just, it's impossible. I mean, we are divine creatures. We're having a divine experience in this realm, whatever it is. And we don't live on a dead rock flying through an infinite godless or distant God vacuum. Beautiful, man. So by the way, I, when when everyone, the word itself, believe, you know, I always write it as B E capital L I E lowercase V E, right? So do I, so do I. Belief (laughs) is the enemy of knowing. Belief is the enemy knowing. That's from um, Crow exactly. 777 Radio. Exactly. And uh, that is the truest, fa- truest quote out there, other than the world is a stage. That's so amazing that you and I are so connected in that because I tell people all the time whenever they say to me, why do you believe that? I said, I don't believe in anything. I'm a knower, right? And to know takes a person into stillness and mind silence. And meditation yes. and introspection and literally just shutting down all of the you know ambient noise that is surrounding you know, us by the matrix the people that get triggered by this discussion they don't even know the globe model exactly they don't even know how fast it's spinning how fast it's orbiting Nothing. how fast you know Nothing. they don't know anything 
No. And the, their idea of what the flat earth is, is completely a, uh, um, they, they've been gate capped with, with ridiculous information. I mean, whoops, wrong, wrong video there. The, <laughs> you know, this is, this is what you, be, this is what people believe. Yeah. This right here, you know, that we're spinning and whirling and they don't yeah. even know that. Um, yeah. And having your entire worldly foundation ripped out from underneath you at any stage in your life is a difficult, emotionally painful uh, thing. Your ego has to die. You have to be right. willing to admit that you've been fooled. And, uh, you know, then when you come out the other side, after you go through the whole anger and revenge and just whatever, ego depression, death. you come out the other side empowered. Exactly. You know? Because you are at the center of creation. I always relate it to the documentary with Keanu Reeves called The Matrix, when at the beginning, where, <laughs> the he's, where he's, he's like, something's <laughs> wrong with the world. Something's wrong with the world. I believe that a lot of depression is because your soul knows the truth and yeah, your conscious absolutely. ego mind is not connecting with your soul. Right. And you're lost. You're lost in space rather than knowing that you are a divine creation at the center of creation. So, so that's 100% accurate, by the way, in my opinion, um, which is pure awareness. Um, so the next question along that lines is, you know, they say, you know, the, I, I love how you say the documentary, The Matrix, but how could they lie? So they, let's define they, right? Now, I mean, there's a million they's, you know, I could give you the Illuminati, the Royal Bloodline families, the fallen angels, the reptilians, the interdimensionals, the hyperdimensionals. I mean, we, we could go all these different paths, but you know, obviously I'm interested in your opinion of who is this they construct or archetype. You kind of said it right there. You know, they are the bloodlines, these royal families that we may not even know their names. You know, the, the royal families that we see running in the world, those are the puppets yeah, exactly. of the real controllers. Um, I don't even know where they are. They might be in the outer space uh, across the earth plane beyond the shoreline of Antarctica. You know, right. they might be living out there. I don't know. Right. Maybe they travel right. back and forth. Yeah. Do you think, but do you think they are humanoid or they are, I mean, for, again, my opinion and, and, and my audience knows this, but I lay it out like whatever is in control of this, you know, narrative is hyperdimensional. And there's only a very few, you know, humanoid beings that have any idea because it's all compartmentalized, right? It's all like deep structed, like the cube, the Rubik's cube where, you know, it just falls in and nobody knows. Everybody's just like a gatekeeper or a role player. But do you think, and this goes back to the scriptural interpretations, and I'm not a literalist, but do you think that really it's just the fallen angels? It's really just Lucifer under a million different names because, right, like you got the Anunnaki, and the gods and gods of Egypt and the gods of Rome, and the gods of Greece. I mean, do you think it's just all the same thing, just engineered to all these different people and cultures on this planet so that it's just utter confusion, the Tower of Babel aspect? Most, most, most likely, you know, I don't know who they are. It's clear right. that, you know, that you work your way up the pyramid. I don't know if you look at you know, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers and everybody, right. where are they? Are they? I don't think they're at the top. I think there's several no, layers they're down. they're puppets. Like you said, they're puppets. Yeah. yeah. Right. So again, who are they? I don't know. You're like, you, you know, people shop at, uh, you know, Costco and they don't know who they are at the top of the Costco. They don't know who the, the, the people no. that run, make all no. the rules. They don't know who they yeah. are. Right. And they never do. So. And it's and, and that's what's so sick is that most people never bother to ask questions, but thankfully for people like you and I, that's all we do. Um, dude, I could go so many different directions with you. Um, <laughs> what difference, truthfully, does the shape of the earth even matter? It, so it, it, again, as we were talking before the show, you know, you, you said you're not a flat earther, but it's some sort of realm. You know, we don't know the shape has nothing to do with it. The shape, I don't care what the shape is. It's yeah. that we don't live on a dead ball spinning, spinning through space. In space. I mean, yeah. it, it's the most ridiculous thing ever. They tell us that planets spun fast and they got off, they wobble, they, they threw off big chunks to create the moons. Well, why didn't all the water go with that? <laughs> I mean, the stuff that they say, again, they're testing our intelligence on right, every right, level right. from the election right. down to the nonsense that NASA says. Just look at the announcements every day. NASA discovered, you know, a uh, an asteroid on Halloween that looks like a skeleton, you know, and a pumpkin, one that looks like a pumpkin, you right. know, it, it's 
it's the most ridiculous stuff, that, but people just believe. I mean, right. if you look at what NASA's doing, you know, it's all, it, it's, it, it's all just, it's, it's mockery. It's, it's a lot of mockery. Right. Absolutely. And, a sham mockery for sure. Yeah. So, so <laughs> who are the, you know, are they humanoid? Um, I think that there's a lot of extraterrestrials. They come from the extra terra, terra. Yeah, exactly. The yeah, right, right. They're hyperdimensional. Yeah. Well, yeah. that that's a whole nother thing. I can't really speak to that. I'm sure there is. There's probably lots of evidence, but I, 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 I can't prove it. I'm not, I let other people uh, right. handle that. Well, but but there's ahead. other people. They probably speak English that come right. from other lands. Right, 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 right. You know, well, beyond so again, for, for, for me, you know, again, um, and again, I, I don't know everything. We, as you, you both, you've already said eloquently, like, you know, we're working on educated guesses. But um, when I, you know, my experience with plant medicine, with 5-MeO-DMT, with my meditation and, and, and really getting into stillness and mind silence, like, you know, I sense things. I, I have an understanding that, like, you know, you were saying that we are absolutely divine beings and that we have a spirit form. That's our true essence is our spirit form. And we inhabit these physical, you know, avatar bodies to learn and to grow and to experience life, you know, as a physical being, whatever. But like, there's just times or things that I sense. And I really do think that earth life, you know, in this matrix, you know, full of polarity, full of opposites, full of sides, red, white, blue, black, you know, Republican, conservative, Democrat, everything is just them making us choose. It's like, you have to detach from, again, that fight or that argument or that duality or whatever. But like, I sense that there are advanced or higher forms of awareness, right? And if you want to, if you want to recognize that a higher form of awareness could be a being of say light or again, reson a resonant being, a pure consciousness being, whatever. Cause to me, David, all we are is consciousness, right? Like if you read, if you read, right, you read, you read like um, Walter Russell or again, Dr. David Hawkins, or even um, what's the guy's name, Neville Goddard, you know, they just literally tell you that ascension, what does it mean? It means, to advance your consciousness to a state of pure awareness, which is knowing, which you've already talked about. And that's, you know, again, the new age and all these people have like just stolen all this shit and hijacked it and made people think other things about it. But really the purpose of being a human is to wake up, to Jay, actually it, it, recognize that. In a, in a nutshell, what's your um, thoughts on astrology? Valuable, not valuable, real, not no, real? No, no, I think there's a lot of value to it. I think okay, the right, ancients so, were huge in that. Let me, let, me, uh, let me address that. As a kid, growing up into my adulthood, astrology is the most ridiculous thing ever. How could a, a, a rock 25 million miles away, away affect who I am? It Conditions. No yeah. It's gravity can't even move our moon a little <laughs> right. bit. You know? it, does, it, it makes no sense. But in the flat earth model, everything we see in the sky is within the earth system. Right. They're the only thing that you can actually say accurately about anything we see in the sky from the sun moon planet stars or anything else that's not an airplane mm -hmm. um is their lights their luminaries we don't know how big they are right. like the, the, uh, this at the time of this recording um most of the planets are in the night sky uh, all at the same time so there's an amazing alignment coming up and if you look at them they could be the size of a beach ball or a basketball or a, a house, or they could be a hundred miles. I don't know how big yeah. they are and right. nobody can tell you otherwise. Right. But if you look at them, you know, our optics have outgrown their lives. We can get our super zoom cameras and zoom in on them and their geometric pulsing orbs right. with personalities right. is the way right. I say it. Exactly. You know, like when you, when I, when I have some video of Arcturus and, uh, and, and um, some other stars, they're amazing. You right. literally feel it in your heart. Yeah. So where these things are, and they're all named after gods. That's interesting. You know, so where they are in the sky affects you on a level. And so I think that, you know, all of the luminaries we see are consciousness. They might be, you know, for lack of a better word, the projectors of who we really are. Right. Our, our true self could be in the heavens that are right above. Right. And we're having this physical experience with amnesia um, right. that, you oh, know, totally. to, to have this right. You know what's amazing? Uh, you, uh, you probably are the same as me. I love puzzles and I love roller coasters. I'm loving 2020. Right. Right. <laughs> 
There you go. No, but it's true. I, and I agree with you 100%. And I've actually learned in the last like seven years a lot more about astrology. Some of the, some of the authors that I read, you know, really were dialed into that. Like um, uh, the guy, John, it's a pseudonym, John Baines. Uh, I forget his real name, but he wrote Stellar Man. And he has an entire chapter about astrology and how important it is how important astrology is as an earth being, because again, we're all star beings, right? Like we literally emanate from the stars we have. We're made of star materials. Carl Sagan wasn't yeah. lying, even though he's the biggest deceiver on he the earth. He was forced to lie, yeah. He, yeah. But, it, but they tell us the truth. We are made of stardust. Exactly. Well, we're, we're not, we're, the stars are the consciousness that, you know, yeah. that's, and we're here having this experience. You know, we, you and I know that this isn't all there is. So once you know that, nothing is scary. Beautiful. Nothing, nothing. To that point, uh, and I've been saying this for years, um, that is the most important thing, is overcoming the fear of, quote unquote, death, which is really just finite limitation, right? The aspect that this physical body and this current you know, matrix existence ends. And once you're aware of what you just discussed or described, which we both are, there is no fear. Like I don't want to is, die. I have a horrible case of FOMO, right? I don't want to miss exactly. out. This is, this is exactly. like, this is, the, we bought tickets to the show. Exactly. And the show is just starting. Enjoy the show. Yes, <laughs> you're right. We're going to get to that, by the way. Okay, so is everything, well, actually, let me not ask you that because we and I both know the answer to that. What isn't a lie? No, nothing. <laughs> I don't know. You know, the, the two biggest quotes are, you know, the only thing to fear is fear itself, right? That's the absolute truth because yeah. fear is the only thing that'll stop you from reaching your potential. Absolutely. And um, the world is a stage. You know, I used to hang on to Sully landing on the Hudson River like, that. oh, that's real. I live right outside of New York City. And then I found out it's complete and total garbage. And But people say, well, why would they do that? I don't fear, you know, it, so, so know. that's the, so that's the answer, David. So to that point, nine eleven, you know, yeah. we saw the towers come down. We saw the planes run into them according to what, you know, right. the controllers showed us, but realistically, and now with COVID, you know, whenever they pull off these giant false flag psyops, they are creating dissonance, which is fear, and they're feeding energetically and etherically off of that emotion so, of fear. So this is what people don't realize. The reason that there's so much, um, so many zombies out in the world is because they don't know that there is such a thing as a spiritual war. Right. They don't know no clue. that there's no entities clue. feeding off of our fear. Right. And it, they, they, they can, they're feeding off of our energy and, and it's easier to create a low energy of fear. So they got the news and they got right. asteroids, fake. Right. They got nuclear bombs, never, there are, don't right. exist. They fake. got, they yeah. got um, yeah. terrorist nonsense. Yep. That Kim Jong Young, North Korea doesn't even exist. Everything is fake, dude. Yeah, everything is fake, and it's all to keep us in fear. Now they got a, 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 a virus that you know has a ninety nine point nine eight percent survival rate that everyone's suffocating themselves and causing brain damage. I was about ready to say you can't even die from it. And again, as a scientist, you know, my in my past scientist life, you know, we've hacked it and we know what it is. And the only way you will actually die from it is if you're in fear of it. Fear is the number one killer in the world. They don't talk about that. You know, yeah. people get diagnosed with cancer that don't have cancer and then end up dying because of fear, right? Fear will poison your cells. And so think about this. We're going in the north here. We're going into the, into the cold and flu season with the lowest level of health the population has ever been in. They've right. all been home. They're financially stressed out. They're fear of dying. Exactly. They're, 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 they're in this heart and they're suffocating themselves, rebreathing their own viral load. And check this out. You know, the supposedly it could live on a dollar bill for a month. And then when you touch the dollar, it's going to, it's going to go down. Or, you know, if you're within six feet of somebody, it'll, it'll, it'll fly into them, but they, you can't spit on a Q-tip to have a test. They have to go and Bro. poke the thinnest part of your blood brain barrier. They're poking it. Right? What happens when somebody sticks a stick up there right. and it's literally wafer thin? It's so thin, they're poking holes in it. Then they trap your viral load in a right. mask and you're rebreathing it. And now they're saying the virus is mutated. It's affecting the brain. Okay? Because people are getting brain infections. Right? Bro, people this is are the so craziest gone. shit 
going on and people are so lost. They're so gone. It's so funny, but to that, did you see it came out yesterday? Now they have a color coded map in the USA. They came out yesterday of where your highest risk is. And of course, it's all in the cold upper, you know, middle part of the country where it's the coldest weather towards Canada, you know, the, the tundra aspect. And it's like, they actually have a percentage of color coded of like what your risk is. I mean, it is complete and total insanity, dude. Right. And, and the reason that they can convince us this, the reason that most people are falling for it because the, the people are lost. I say they're lost in space. Literally. They don't realize That's it, the but they think they're spinning out of control Lost in space. You say you, you like to meditate. I tell people to try this. Go outside, go to your meditation spot, and then focus on um, the heliocentric model. So you're, you're, you're spinning at 1,000 miles an hour, faster than the speed of sound. You know, when you watch the sunset, you're falling over backwards faster than the speed of sound, which is making the sun appear to go down. Right. You're orbiting the sun at over a half a million miles an hour. Right. You can't, no, 60, I'm sorry, 66,000 miles an hour. You can't even fathom that speed. Yeah. And you're chasing the sun at over a half a million miles an hour. So imagine all those speeds, sit there, imagine all of this is going on and see how you feel. You're gonna feel sick, right? But then if you then you know, wake up, you know, shake it off and then go meditate and say, all right, I'm on the flat earth, the foundation, the, it's the basement of the universe. It's not floating in space like right. the flat earth society will tell you. And everything is perfectly still, okay? And all of a sudden, you'll feel life come back into your heart. Yeah. Your brain, you'll start glowing. And then you'll, you'll open your eyes and it's a whole new world, okay? People are living their lives in that first scenario. Spinning out of control where an asteroid is going to kill them like it killed the fake dinosaurs, okay? So <laughs> there you go. Bro, I could talk to you all day. That's beautiful. I've never heard anybody eloquently put it that way again. But again, you know, I'm a huge, huge proponent of Neville Goddard. And he says, you know, claim the I am, right? I am and then blank whatever your highest and best of what you want to be and start being that person right now. And that's exactly the analogy of what you just said of the spinning universe or the I'm completely assured of who I am and where I'm at and I can do anything I want. Let me ask you. So, so just, just finishing my point, yeah. when, you, when, when you believe that you're lost in space in an expanding godless universe, that affects your decision making. Exactly. That affects the, yeah. everything about your life. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and that removes your power. When yeah. you know that you're at the center of creation, you're protected and, and there's energies connecting to you, you can raise your vibration and you can do anything. Exactly. I mean, we are at not the pinnacle of, of intelligence. We are at the bottom of the trench. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, so go ahead. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, no. It's good. And I'm glad you said that. I, I wanted to ask you, I want to get into the good versus evil, the war, the spiritual war that we are waging right now that we're going to talk about as we get to the end. But, you know, something you said, which is, it's mind-blowingly fascinating is just the whole idea of that we talked about earlier is that now younger people, it's much worse now for younger people, right? Because you and I, when we grew up, there wasn't all this technology that answered their questions for them without them doing any work and exploratory research. And, you know, obviously going out there and doing the work. Now they just say, hey, Siri, hey, Alexa, hey, Google. But one of your points is like, you know, how can people really truly find awareness and truth with Google controlling the informational dissemination across the planet? And we know that Google is part of the toxic tech, you know, crew of, you know, whatever, again, they are. Um, like, what do people do? I mean, like, you know, these young people are literally being brainwashed into believing that Joe Biden is good for this planet, right? Like Joe Biden doesn't even exist. Plain. So, so what, what do people, I'm sorry, what do people do right now to gain awareness? So again, you know, the, the globe has a major advantage over, over flat earth. And that is, you can believe it, you know, a teacher, a guy in a bow tie told you, you know, who's just a failed actor. He's not a scientist. Um, he told you, they taught you in school. Okay, you believe it. You know, the, the teachers of this world are the ones that are the, that are the best at memorizing and regurgitating the Rockefeller textbooks. Right. Um, you know, when I first got into Flat Earth in 2014, 2015, whatever it was, um, you can go, go on YouTube and search Flat Earth 
and bam, all of the new videos. And there was hundreds of videos going up daily. And wow, the research was amazing. Now you search Flat Earth, you end up at the Flat Earth Society, which is a government controlled disinformation right. site exactly. that'll make you think Flat Earth is the dumbest thing ever. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell. Quick commercial for the Optimized Tribe with US Navy SEAL Michael Jaco and I every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There is not a single group online where you will get the highest level intel that Michael and I can provide you from mastering intuition to fully optimizing your hormonal health to improving your fitness, to raising your vibration and increasing your consciousness. There isn't a single group online with two dudes like Michael and myself helping people become the best version of their self. It's literally $99 a month and you get a 90 minute call with me and Michael every single Monday night. Don't wait another second. Sign up now at the link, theoptimizedtribe.com. I appreciate you guys and I send you tremendous love and light. I created an app. Let me share it with you real quick. Which, and I'll give you a quick demonstration for those that don't know what the flat earth is. Um, so this is called the flat earth sun, moon, and zodiac clock app. The sun laps the moon. Right now you can't see the moon because we're going into a new moon. So I'll let it go around a couple times. But the sun laps the moon every cool. 28 days. Okay. The sky is a perfect clock. That's the hour hand that the sun is on. And the moon, there's the moon emerging. And uh, it'll take 28 and a half times around or whatever um, for the sun to lap the moon. That's very cool. By the way, let me ask you something. So you, this is really awesome, by the way. Um, do you, so you do not think, you know, the whole Truman Show aspect of the dome. Do you think there's any truth to any of that? That, that is a, a, a that they're telling us so much truth in that video um, you know, the moon is not what we think it is. I don't believe that it's even a physical body, but again, I can't go up there. Anything that's over, you know, 30, 40,000 feet or beyond the line of Antarctica, speculation. Can't go right. there. Beyond so, the line of sight, right? Because we know our sight has yeah. been conditioned and we have yeah. very limited field of vision. So, so let me finish here. The, the stars, the, the stars, you know, we're moving all of those, remember all those directions that mm -hmm. I showed you in that model behind me? Yeah. And Every year, every decade, doesn't matter. On the same night you go out, the stars are in the exact same position. The zodiac spins around and, and laps the sun once a year. It's going slightly faster than the sun. That way, the sun will move backwards through the zodiac for about a month in each one. And that's how you can tell where the zodiac is. The app will also show you where, where, what sign the moon is in. And that changes like every three or four days. Very cool. Okay. So the getting around the censorship. So people say, well, flat earth is crazy. You know, like what about circumnavigation? What about you hit the question mark and you hear, you know, where's the edge? You know, what about gravity? You know, why the lie? Oh, why the lie? Let's click why the lie. And up comes a video about why the lie and a whole playlist of videos That's awesome, bro. that will blow you away. Right. Um, Make sure our podcast is in here now. Um, well, actually, on this page, I link other shows that have awake stuff in there. I re rotate things out, so I'm happy to include you in here. Beautiful, but, man. But there's other, other things in there. Um, the app instructions are right on the top center. I'm making a new video because there's like so many new features. I have different languages for people that uh, want awesome, you know, to see stuff. And then also, the, the thing is, I tell people, take the Flat Earth app challenge. Okay. Every day there's a new video uh, that shows up here in the featured video. I said for two weeks, watch the featured video. So are you like, making these videos or are you just, uh, I make some of them, but I, I basically take uh, the other videos from other people. And again, when, when, like, if you said, Hey Dave, send me something on the fake moon landing, I I'd send it to you. And then Google would feed you a propaganda piece right That's after pretty it. dope. These videos are followed up by the videos that I've selected. Yeah. Okay. So right. every day you get a new video. If you hit the archive button, which is right here, you get all of the videos from all of the last couple of years. So I tell people, take the Flat Earth app challenge. And, uh, and what they do is they, they, uh, they say, hey, I, I saw you on, uh, on Jay's show and uh, I bought your stupid app and I took the challenge, but I didn't want to wait. So I uh, will hit the archive button. I haven't slept in two days. My family thinks I'm crazy now. The earth is flat. What the fuck do I do? <laughs> Okay. And I'm just like, welcome, welcome to flat earth. So it, it's the app is $2 and 99 cents. Okay. 
And when you get in there, it asks you if you want to subscribe for 99 cents a month. You don't have to subscribe. You can X that pop up out instantly without waiting a single second. And it only shows up once a day, no ads, no nothing else. And you still get everything. Okay. That's very cool. And so, um, lots of features also, like if I, um, if I put on the, the world time, so right now, if we look, it's 5 a.m. in Eastern Australia, or it's uh, 9 p.m., 9 p.m. in Johannesburg, South Africa. Um, so it shows you, you know, where the world time is. Um, so if you want to call your friend in Australia, you might want to wait just a little bit so yeah. you don't wake them up. Right. And then uh, there's, there's other things. Like if you look, remember the jet streams that they yeah. show us that go up and down, yeah. right? If you if you look here, if I go if I if I go to forty thousand feet, these are the jet streams on the flat Earth. These are the actual live jet streams. That's these awesome. winds out here are going two to three hundred miles an hour. These pink and white, okay, two to three hundred miles an hour eastward. Wow. That means at forty thousand feet, they're outrunning the spin of the ball. <laughs> they're not falling backwards like a blender. They're outrunning the ball. It's, it's completely and totally nonsensical. So one more thing I want to show you, and then, uh, then I'll, 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 I'll back out of this, um, is, I have to quit the app here. By the way, where are you getting that data from? Um, that data is from a site that basically it's pulling it from, um, pulling it from, I forget the name of the, it's a, it's a weather cycle, um, and it's just, it's just reformatting it onto the Flat Earth map, which is the UN map. I mean, this is right. The um, UN map, right? Yeah. So all they love to tell us. <laughs> yeah. So the other thing is, if you click the weather up up in the top right there, it'll it'll give you your local weather. Everyone needs though gets gets up in the morning wants to see know what the weather is. It's a great a dark sky forecast. Um, it, it's it's really uh, it's you know useful. Also, the sun. I'm going to jump the sun forward to December. And if you look, it's December, it's out over that yellow line. That's the Tropic of Capricorn. So it's the outer southern lands summer, and it's the inner northern lands winter because the sun right. is just farther away. Right. And if I go to June, you'll see that uh, it's over the Tropic of Cancer, right. and the outer lands are having their colder winter, and we're right. having our summer because the sun is closer. Dude, that's just pretty amazing, man. I mean, you definitely have opened my eyes a lot in this with just this right here and just understanding like how it has to be flat or a plane or whatever the hell it is. And you could change your backgrounds. Yeah. You could pick, you know, different backgrounds. You can, uh, you can go down, you can hit my t-shirt shop and see, you know, this, this shirt and, and other shirts. So you're saying and, uh, this app literally is just two ninety nine one time. It's $2.99 one. one time. And what I tell people, if you're new to flat earth, um, you can just don't subscribe um, until you wake up every day going, I can't wait to see what's on the app. And when you're doing that for a couple months, the next time that thing pops up, feel free to, you can subscribe for a year, 11 bucks for the year. Okay. That's, I don't, I think I'm the cheapest person to support out there. But again, if you can't do it, if you're on your mother's fo you know, phone plan, you know, if you're a kid, <laughs> it, it, it's fine. It, it's okay. And if you, if you have an, and listen, I say, if you have an iPhone, you can afford the 299. There's a lot of people that have Androids that can't afford the 299. Send me an email, info at theflatearthpodcast.com. Tell me your story and I'll give you a free download code. All right? There you go. Nice, man. Good for so, you, man. So why are you not doing affiliates with people like me so we can sell a whole lot more of these and make you a little bit more money and give you more? Um, we can talk about that to the show. I, I just, <laughs> I'm just, listen, I just want the information out there. I didn't build this app. I built this app for me because when I would talk to people and explain this yeah. flat earth, they'd be like, really, really? And then I'd break out the app and they go, oh, I wasn't even going to publish it. I just built it for myself. Yeah. Then I decided to publish it. And then I just keep adding. I've been working on this app for two years That's with awesome, India. Bro. So, so we'll, I'm, talk, I'm, we'll talk after because I think yeah. you deserve more money and I can help with that. But let's. Uh, it, it, all right. For, for, well, first off, you are very humble and you have <laughs> great you. humility, even though you have a lot of knowledge. And that sometimes is hard to do when you're extremely hyper aware to maintain humility. I mean, I know for me, you know, I, I discount people and judge people too fast sometimes. And so, like, you know, to be able to do that, I mean, I'm the similar way, right? I give, give away a lot of stuff, I give away a lot of free stuff. You know, all my books I give away for free. Um, but that's awesome, man. Okay, so let's, you know, we've been on for about what? 50 minutes. Let's spend the last 
I mean, here I told you we're going to go over 60. Let's spend the last 15 to 20 minutes here talking about right now, right? Because there's never, like you said, we're just getting started. It's probably the greatest time ever, well, at least in this human mm -hmm. epic that hasn't flipped over um, to be alive. Like, what do you think is, it, it's an opinion question, David, but what do you think is happening right now? I think that there is an intelligence test going on to weed out the people that are wasting their soul's journey. You know, we, we, ha we have souls, multiple souls. We have a main soul and then we have other souls in our body and it's here to have an experience. And there, your soul knows the truth, but your brain, your ego, your, your mind has amnesia because you're here. We're figuring out a puzzle. We're having a ride and you're supposed to, um, you know, appreciate where you are and, 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 and you know, the, the farther you disconnect from your soul vibrationally, right. the more depressed and the more miserable you're going to be. Right. That's so there's true. so many people that have got caught in material, uh, in their material world and they've forgotten how to connect with nature and they, they're, they're just lost in, uh, in this corporate system. Uh, they're, they're the ones walking around with the face diapers on uh, you know, screaming at people that aren't wearing them. They're the ones that are going to line up for the vaccine, which is insanity. And, you know, so what's going on? Maybe it's an intelligence test to sort, you know, what'd you say? The, what's the term? The wheat from the shaft? Or? Yeah, the, the wheat from the tares. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. The, so the, the, I, I look at it. I, I, I look at it. That's what's going on. It's also... Again, I look at it, it, it we're on a, a ride and it's amazing. And, you know, when, when uh, you, you talked about the quantum field or I call it the quantum field, sure. whenever I have an issue, uh, I, 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 focus, I put my mind in the quantum field and I design what I want right. and the world delivers it so Absolutely. fast sometimes it That's scares true. me. Yeah. I am my worst enemy because I'm the one that stops any of those things from happening. And that's 100% accurate because back to what you just said about the people that are vibrating and, you know, down here, dissonance, they are focused on what they don't want, right? right? And you have to, as quantum, you know, you call it quantum field, you know, quantum physics, whatever you want to call it, quantum entanglement. I mean, you have to focus on what you want. And then you have to take massive action, obviously, to get those things. Like, for example, for you, two years working on this app. That's massive action. How many people spend two years on anything in their fucking life? They go from one thing to the other, to the next, 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 and never do the work. But, you know, it's so vitally important for people to recognize what you just said. And, and again, this is my mantra now is like, you can have whatever you want. You just have to focus and have a plan and be creative and courageous to get there, right? And it's like, these people down here are just constantly blaming others, you know, label, you know, labeling, judging, you know, it's not my fault, never taking personal accountability, never being sovereign and empowered, which is ultimately freedom, and just constantly being, you know, tuned like a pitchfork by them, right? And that's all the people that quote unquote, you know, did or didn't vote for Joe Biden, right? But it's those people in that blue state of consciousness, that low vibration, don't think, keep me in the sleep state, give me McDonald's pizza, beer, weed, whatever it is, right? Like just make my life miserable, but I'm good because there's so many people like me, crabs in a bucket, right? So it's like, when, when something, when something negative happens, I look at it like I'm on a swing and they just pushed me right. and I, that gives me more momentum to go the other way. Exactly. The contrast brings in desire right. and desire leads the, leads the path. Beautiful. Desire is everything. You know? yeah. I, like that, what that, I, I don't believe, that. I believe that the elite don't have that. I, I think that they're, they're using us to create their world or they're right. feeding off of us. It's think about this yeah. real quick. The, you know, the agenda 21, 2030, they want us out of rural areas, out of nature, in stack and pack cities. Well, the, you know about the ghost cities in China and stuff. Well, New York City, uh, office life is done there. You know, the people oh, I yeah. live in, I live outside of New York where a lot of Wall Street people live. They're all working out of their homes and they're right. being more efficient. They're never going back. All of those are going to turn into stack and pack uh, residences. So it, th what they want is people living in their building. They'll have a gym in the building. Uh, Amazon will deliver everything that they want. They'll stay in their building and they'll be spinning on their bikes. I have an indoor spin bike. I stare at a screen spinning. It's the most dumbest thing ever, yep. um, but it's how I get my exercise. And 
they're, they're going to be feeding off of our energy. They're going to be, they're going to be using us as like mind. cryptocurrency a hive mind. and, yeah. and literally it's the matrix. Exactly. It's the matrix. They have us in these pods and we're, we are the power cells for their reality. That's, I mean, we're on the same wavelength. I mean, that's exactly what it is. Um, before I let you go though, I, you know, and again, it's just an opinion question. And I ask all the people, I mean, I don't do a lot of podcasts with people as awake, as awakened as aware you, as you are. So it's a blessing, but you know, I, I won't let you go. Cause people will be like, Jay, you didn't ask him what he thinks is going to happen. Right. So in the timeline of where we're at right now, right. And today is November 12th. We are what nine days since the fraud of frauds occurred. Um, do you think that there will be, say by mid January, you know, I think the new president of the United States, which let's be honest, right? The president of the United States is literally the leader of the free world, right? The rest of the world right now is locked down, face diapered up. They're all gone, right? They're all looking to the U S as the beacon, right? And if U S was the new Atlantis, just as the old Atlantis was, you know, housed in the same regional or geographical location, um, they're looking to what happens with this election. Do you think, what do you think is going to happen? Ultimately, you know, I, I, I keep the, my options open. You know, do I think that uh, Trump is going to take the election? I, I totally do. I also yeah, said Hillary was going to win, but right. you know, so I, I think that Trump is going to clearly take it. You know, a landslide isn't the right word, a Trump slide. That's going to be the new term, a right. Trump slide. I mean, he basically won almost every state. I think he won every state. David. You, you know, you know, we listen to CNN and see all the polls and stuff, and the polls were off so much that nobody should ever listen to the news again. Look at social media. Trump had 145 million social media followers, exactly. and exactly. and Biden had 30. If half of the Trump people voted, and all of the Biden people voted twice, he still lose, loses. Okay. So, you know, those are the polls right there. Social media followers will tell you right there. So I think that's going to happen. What does that mean? I don't know the answer to that, Jay. Well, let me, I mean, dude, this podcast has been amazing. I'm putting this like in my feed right away. It's very important that people listen to this. Let me ask you, are you okay to keep going? Absolutely. Why do so many people, I think I know the answer, but I want to hear your answer. Why do so many people resist the idea that there wasn't fraud even though they see it right in front of them why are they so not able to accept or admit it your opinion because they don't have enough oxygen going to their brains because they're wearing <laughs> they're wearing face diapers <laughs> it's you know the beginning of the year <laughs> um i don't know they're literally it's a multi-prong attack they're, they're consuming fluoride. Their pineal right. glands are right. calcified. They're not right. connecting to source. source. They're right. literally just disconnected oh. from God. Even if they're religious, they're caught in their religious dogma right. Right. and they're not really connected. And right. then, you know, they, they watch the news. The news tells them what to think. The news said President-elect Biden. It's the most <laughs> ridiculous thing ever. It doesn't even exist, David. It's a stagery. Right. And, and uh, I'm watching Biden, you know, um, speeches. It's like there's 50 cuts inside of two minutes. I'm like, how long did they film this? To Bro, make every time edits? you see him on social media, it's a different person. There have been thousands yes. of people who have showed the different yes. earlobes and the and, nose connection. And it's all remember fake. his, his uh, I think, it, I guess it was his acceptance speech or when he declared he won. You hear cars honking and you hear people. You don't really see the people. I'm like, I don't think he was even there. He wasn't. <laughs> my good it's, friend, my good friend said that that was the code for the quote unquote deep state, the cabal, the, you know, the dark whatever manipulators to manufacture the votes, right? Because at that point, everybody knew that, you know, who was paying attention knew that Trump had won in a landslide. And then they stopped the vote counting and then magically overnight, Biden made up all those states, right? So it's all stagecraft. But it, dude, that's the question you and I can have a podcast on all day. It, it, wanna, let me ask you a question. Is, yeah. is it because, you know, when, uh, when the Trump turns it over and takes it, that the Democrats will cause more violence than the, than the, the Republicans? That's what I, I mean, think. That's what they I think. want. 
they they need something to you know the the dollar is gone the dollar is dead they just haven't told anybody yet i mean we're having record stock market yeah, exactly. i mean it's a sham dude it's all stage that's it, it, and and they they said that um, the employment there's so many new jobs were just created last quarter what <laughs> <laughs> so, so my wife said this last night to your point right there is that that you know people think that um they're doing this to gaslight people like us who are awake and it's the opposite it's to infuriate the blue checks the sheep yeah. sleeping the pineal gland poisoned so that they do create chaos so it's almost like the elites want a population check this is their ultimate eugenic plan to create civil war and chaos and anarchy in the united states when trump is ultimately restored right to the throne i mean you, i mean you're, you're aware of the deagle report about about population so whether that is a, an event that is you know a depopulation that is part of a cycle something that they want to create something that that's that just is going to happen, uh, you know, are they trying to figure out who's going to make it through this and who's not, you know, I don't know, but, you know, turn the power off for a dark winter. That's a, you know, Biden Whoa. with the, that freaking comment and the, you know, the, the project dark winter or operation dark winter about a virus yep. drop the dollar to nothing, S you know, suicides, murders. Oh. I mean, we're literally talking the purge here. Yeah. It, it's insane. Right. Yeah. It's insane. You know, you a box of friggin' nine millimeter costs forty five dollars now. I <laughs> know, yeah, dude. Well, I mean, in California, you can't get anything. But all right, so we'll end the show on this. Like, do you foresee again? Opinion question. And again, I it's kind of where I am, and I know I think I know your answer, but I just want your answer. Do you foresee though ultimately a good ending out of this, and it just comes to the individual, you know, creating their own good. I see a good, I see a good ending for those people with a higher vibration. I right. mean, the way you look at it, if right. you realize where we are, what we are, what's really going on, there's only good endings. Exactly. Right? Whether that good ending looks like a tragedy to somebody else, right. um, that doesn't matter. I mean, you know, I, I suffer from FOMO. FOMO, fear of missing sure, out. Sure, sure. I, I don't I don't like to go to sleep because I might miss something. Right. I get up early in the morning. I'm right. full of energy. Like the other night, I didn't sleep at all and I couldn't get to sleep. I mean, the next day. So I, I stayed up for like 36 hours. Yeah. Um, not healthy. I should probably, I, I definitely need to get my sleep. But, you know, I want to be here through all of this. You know, yes. this is the, the greatest time to be ever. alive ever. Greatest yeah. time ever. Greatest time ever. Yeah. And, and just one, one thing, just one thing which we talked about early was the, the people used to say, you know, we've known the earth has been flat for 500 years. I interviewed a woman, a 102 year old woman back in the, in January, I was talking to her about the world's fairs and she was telling me stories about her fifth birthday and she knew everything. And I was like, huh? I said, Hey, what did they teach you in elementary school about the earth? And she said, they taught me the earth is flat. And I immediately started recording it. Um, it's on my YouTube channel. I just want people to look at it. We also found a uh, another Croatian woman about the same age. This was uh, like a year ago. And uh, she said in the 1930s, they were teaching the earth was flat in Croatia. So this whole turnover to this heliocentric soul lure system, lure your soul away. Right. They right. want your soul. Okay. Most people don't believe that's a thing. That's why. You oh, know, it's definitely a thing. Yeah. They, you know, um, that is a new thing. It's a new thing. History is a lie. All of it. Anything before 1920 is a lie, is unprovable lie, right. pretty much. Right. right. And, and so, so, you know, our, our the final thing I'll say is, is our, our, um, our mission here, our, our, the, when we're here having this experience, our only goal is to stay in control of our soul and connect with it as much as we can and yeah. not to lose it or sell it or allow other evil demons in to, you know, to take over. Amazing, bro. Phenomenal podcast. Uh, I agree with at least 95 to 96%, maybe higher of everything you said. I mean, we're obviously consciously very connected uh, as beings, whatever the fuck we are. I mean, obviously we're not Jay Campbell or David Weiss. We're just souls, right? Having this cosmic, amazing experience on this planet right now. And we're here and we might as well enjoy the ride. Okay. So David Weiss, where can people, besides the app, which I want you to talk about again, how can people connect with you online? 
the the best way is um, on the app, you know, the Flat Earth, Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app. Um, maybe you'll include a link below this, oh, yeah. um, or you can just scan, scan my QR code right here. Just point your camera at it, and um, the you know the daily videos. Also, my YouTube channel. I specialize for people like me, short attention span. Okay, my a long video, five minutes, is like a documentary for me. I do short <laughs> videos. I have hundreds of them on my channel, and the channel is the initials for Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole. It's D I T R H. Nice. Um, nice. Find me there, and then uh, the Flat Earth Podcast on uh, all podcast players, uh, iTunes, SoundCloud, and uh, we have a Flat Earth Podcast Facebook page, which I haven't been using that much, but stuff goes up there fairly regularly. All right. Well, I expect you to bring me on your podcast at some point. We'll go even crazier, go okay. somewhat even deeper. Yeah, yeah. David, David Weiss, man, I appreciate you coming on to do, man. It was awesome. So all my fans and friends and audience, please support the amazing people that come on the Jay Campbell Podcast. I highly recommend you guys pick up David's app. It's $2.99 and then whatever else the subscription model is during the year, it's clearly worth it. I mean, I learned stuff just watching it, you know, with the shadow and how the earth goes around with the time zones and stuff like that. Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn, pretty amazing stuff. I will say to everybody, remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We will see you guys very soon.